Hi there and welcome at another episode on uh, TypeScript design patterns and uh, today we will be discussing the factory method pattern. So when we look at the definition, uh, we see that the definition states that it defines an interface for creating an object, but it will let subclasses decide which class or classes to instantiate. Uh, in that way the factory method let, uh, lets a class defer instantiation to subclasses. And when we look at the UML diagram, we will notice that we have a creator, which is an abstract class, which defines this, the factory method to create a product. And the product is also a uh, abstract product. Okay. Um, so the creator and the product are just abstractions. And then we have a concrete creator, uh, which also implements the factory method, but then returns, of course, a concrete product. Um, in the .NET framework, this is also used in a lot of places. Uh, one example is the web request. Um, if you call web request.create and you pass in a URI, then based on the type of URI, so if you pass in a file URI, it will return you a file request. When you pass in an HTTP or HTTPS uh, URI, it will return a web request. Uh, sorry, HTTP request. So based on the type of URI you pass to the factory method, you will be returned a different type of product web request. So in this example, I'm using these, uh, an example of the two factory again, and uh, let's see how it looks like. I do something differently. Um, so what I have here, I have a product and my product is called page, which is a base class and we have a skills page, an education page, experience page and so on. So when we uh, go down, we also notice a page factory and the page factory is, ex uh, is actually an abstract class. Of course, again, TypeScript does not really uh, have abstract classes. So what I did, I created a method called create pages, which is my factory method. And in this case, it throws method not implemented. Of course, we also have concrete factories, which is called a resume and a report. And when we look at those, the resume will create pages, a skills page, education page, an experience page, and the uh, report, uh, uh, introduction page, result page, and so on. So they both create different sets of pages. When we then go to our load method of our window, we see that I just defined the new uh, page factories and then for each factory I ask it to create the pages. The result, the final result of that, is when we look at our output, you see that over here the resume contains the following pages, skill page, education page, blah blah blah, and the report contains the following pages, introduction page, results page, so different sets of pages. So based on the type of factory I use, and thus the met, uh, factory method I call, I get returned a different set of objects, in, in this case pages. And that's how you use the factory method 